Meade High School hosted a military appreciation night last week. A lineup of active duty, retired, and wounded warriors threw out a ceremonial first pitch. The game was coordinated by Rundle High softball coach Lisa Mills and Meade High coach Jennifer Richardson. Both coaches hope to make it an annual event. You can read more about the game in this week's edition of The Sound Off. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the USO has a special visitor next week. This year's Holocaust Remembrance is coming up, and Murphy Fieldhouse is open 24-7. These stories and more, but first, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. The garrison kicked it off with the annual Spring Installation Resiliency Run last Friday. Nearly 2,000 Fort Meade service members and civilians came together in a display of solidarity to eliminate sexual harassment and assault. On behalf of the Command Sergeant Major, on behalf of our entire nation, I just want to thank each and every one of you for the vital national security missions that you perform every day defending our nation. We know how vital our national security missions are. We know that in order to perform our missions, we must come together as teams to perform the jobs, the vital jobs that we do. We cannot come together as teams if we harass each other in any form. We have to treat each other with dignity and respect every day to perform our missions. And you cannot think of something that's more the exact opposite of treating someone, another human being, with dignity and respect than sexually harassing or assaulting that person. So please take the time this month to take advantage of any of the many great training opportunities that we have across the garrison and the major commands that are here this month. Take time to come together in small groups. Get together with your battle buddies, your wingmen, your shipmates, your co-workers in small groups and talk about what it means to treat each other with dignity and respect as human beings. The Garrison has a full slate of events this month. For more information, go to our website at www.ftme.army.mil slash sharp. In other news, Food Network fans know the name Chef Robert Irvine and his TV show Restaurant Impossible. What you may not know is that Chef Irvine volunteers a lot with the USO. In 2015, he participated in four USO tours, including one to Afghanistan. Next Tuesday, April 19th, Chef Irvine will speak to a group at the USO here at Fort Meade, spend some time with service members at NSA, and if the schedule allows, he might even work out with some service members at Gaffney Gym in the afternoon. We'll have more on Chef Irvine's visit on the next edition of Mead Week. Meanwhile, speaking of the gym, Murphy Fieldhouse is now available for use 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. To access Murphy After Hours, you have to pre-register. We spoke with MWR Sports Specialist Beth Downs. First thing you have to do is get a form of our Statement of Understanding or the User Agreement. And you can get that here at Murphy Field House. You can pick it up at Gaffney Fitness Center or you can get it online at the MWR website. Fill it out and you're going to take it over to Gaffney to the Administrative Office. And one of the staff members will be able to get you into the system, get your information, including uh, recording your fingerprint, which will allow you to have access to the facility here. And for anyone worried about coming to the gym at odd hours, it is not staffed, but we do have surveillance cameras and an alarm system for everyone's safety and security. Downs expects that activity at Murphy will really pick up, especially on the weekends when Gaffney closes early. If you have any questions, just stop by Gaffney Gym or Murphy Fieldhouse. In other news, the 2016 Holocaust Days of Remembrance are scheduled for May 1st through the 8th. The Fort Meade Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the 902nd Military Intelligence Group are hosting this year's observance at 11.30 on Thursday, April 21st at the McGill Training Center. This year's special guest is Holocaust survivor and Timonium, Maryland resident, Mr. Ruben Steyer. Once again, it's coming up April 21st at 11.30 in the McGill Training Center. Elsewhere, the Fort Meade Directorate of Public Works Environmental Division is getting ready for this year's Earth Day celebration. It's coming up Thursday, April 28th from 10 to 2 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. That's located next to the Llewellyn Gate. Highlights include an electronics and data recycling event with Securus, live animal displays with Echoes in Nature, better opportunities for single service members are holding a video game and book drive. You can donate or swap your unwanted children's books and video games. There are dozens of other displays scheduled as well. We'll have more on Earth Day as we get closer to the 28th. And that's all for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week. They do so much for us. That's why we do so much for them. USO Metro is proud to serve those who serve in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Northern Virginia.